I'm so honored to be a part of Mission Makeover Season 4. I got the call and, um, and my first thought was this is right up my alley because I absolutely love transformations. Like I know how much of an impact this can have on somebody's life uh, in the grand scheme. It's not just a physical transformation. I mean, what you look like on the outside, sadly people do, um, they, they judge that. And, and actually, but for ourselves, and when, when, we, when we look good, we actually give off good things to other people. You know, you're, you're more apt to get out and about, and, and life just improves overall. So I'm so excited for their transformation. I've worked with lots of people and have seen changes that were just um, enormous life changing and forever changes. And so I want this for these ladies so much, and I want to hold their hand through the journey, and I want to see these, these big epiphany moments that where they say I got this I can do this this is the new me and I'm never gonna be that old person again there's so much information out there it's it's overwhelming and I, I've felt that before so I can only imagine how these ladies feel and I've been doing this for 10 years so to me I would I just want to demystify it I want to make it simple for them I want them to understand that if they just do a B and C they don't even have to think about it that's what we're here for we're gonna help them we're gonna be the support that they need so they can finally reach their goals um, we know what they need to do they need to build up that muscle they need to decrease their body fat the more muscle you have on your body uh, the higher their metabolism will be. You know, most people think of endless hours of cardio. It's the worst. I get winded going to the mailbox. No, thank you. I don't want to do cardio every single day. I will run, but um, but I, I prefer to do it for heart health. I mean, don't don't kill yourself doing it unless it's your passion and you absolutely love to run. But I want these ladies to understand that if they actually do the work and they create a foundation that's good for them, they don't have to continue to work out super hard um, every single day. Of course, for this, for this event, we're, we're going to put them through it. We want them to work really, really hard because we want them to see what they're made of, that they can do this, that they got it, that they, they've got it in them, that they can push through those and push past that threshold that they think that they're going to stop. But, um, but I want to see these ladies in empowered within. I want to see their physical transformation, their internal transformation. Um, and, and we're just going to show them if you, if you lift some weights, which a lot of weight women are afraid to do. But I'm here to tell you right now, lifting weights is the fountain of youth. I mean, there's no, nothing else that's better. Not one, not one thing. From the moment you're born, gravity is pulling you down. So unless you do something to lift it back up, you're just going to be a sadder, sadder version of yourself. Trust me. So I was always intimidated by the weights, but I, I got on there, I started lifting. Um, I'm almost 40 and I feel great. I feel better than I did in my 20s and I was active. I was a NFL cheerleader. I did all these things and I can tell you right now that I would much prefer to put on my little NFL cheerleading outfit now than I would when I was in my 20s and I had to wear it. So, um, but I want these ladies to realize age is just a number. You know, you, you, this is one of the only things that you can do for yourself, that the older you get, the better you can actually look. Because a lot of younger people, they have baby fat, they, have, they don't have the discipline a lot of older people do. As you get older, you realize the things that matter, and you let a lot of other things go, and you're better at prioritizing. So it, you're just, you're more wise. So take advantage of that. Be that disciplined adult that we need to be so that you can make it a priority in your life. And, and you'll, you'll reach goals that you, you can't even imagine. It's, you're, you're leaner and, and more toned and more fit because you've actually kept the discipline and the consistency that you need to get there. And I think you'll surprise yourself at, at how good a shape that you can be in, whether you're at 50, 60, you know, some of these ladies are, are 30s, 40s, but you can, you can be in shape all the way up to 70, 80 years old, live past 100. <laughs> So it's, it's about quality of life, yes, and it's about um, physically just feeling good in the skin you're in. And that's what we want for these ladies. We just want them to feel, feel good about who they are because they're beautiful. They're already beautiful. They just want to be fit, healthier, um, happier, you know, em emote people what it is on the inside that they've already got and that's been holding them back because of what they physically look like. So I'm excited for them. I just, you know, there's so m I have so much passion for this because it really helps you get rid of body image issues. You know, we never realize how much body image stuff is holding us back, but I don't know, I'm, I'm not immune to this. I will get up and get ready to go someplace and there's like 10 outfits all over my room and it's because I can't figure out, nothing looks good on me, I've decided. And you know, truthfully, once I got in shape, 
Um, I became a terrible online shopper because most things started to look good on me and I felt better in most things than I ever had. So that's bad. It's bad for your wallet. But it's, it is definitely good for your self-esteem and um, you, you just get out there more. You don't pass up invitations to things because you realize that it, it, you just start feeling good about who you are. And even if physically you're not exactly to where you want to be, because I can tell you from my own experience, you're going to always feel like there's something to work on. Always. But you still feel like, hey, I'm a powerful person and, and I've got the strength to make change in my life. I can't control relationships, my job, anything else, but I can control how I treat my body, what I put in my body, and because of that, I can see direct results in my hard work. I can see my body physically getting stronger and things taking shape, and it's really powerful and it really, really does change so many things in your life and make so many things better. I met these ladies and they you know, there's a little bit of apprehension, I, I gotta say, in a couple of them. I'm not sure they really believe that they can make these changes because they've struggled for so long, but I know they want it. I know they want it so bad. They're, you know, most of them are, are thinking, okay, I, I gotta, this is it. This is my time. I've gotta stick this out. This is going to be the change in my life that, that I've needed for so, so many years. So I, I'm just excited to see that this is the start of the biggest change that they could probably ever go through. And I hope it's a lifestyle. That's what we want. We want it to be a lifestyle that um, that they incorporate forever and ever. It becomes easy because it's just kind of second nature. So, you know, it takes it takes a while to form habits and they've, they've got some bad habits that we're gonna have to break. But as they create new habits, we're gonna let some of those old habits go and they're just gonna be new all, all the way around. So I'm excited to see these changes. I can see that little sparkle in their eyes and, and I know they're ready, so um, they're, they're like, bring it on. So I think we're going to bring it. I think we're going to make it harder than they probably think. So we'll see what they got.